Today, over 80% of all organizations are using SharePoint. Many of these same organizations are struggling with the collection of data from PDF forms. Let's take a look at how FormRatter can help. We'll do this in three easy steps. First, I'll just show you the basics of building a PDF form. Then, we'll point that form to a FormRatter account and submit it. And finally, we'll collect responses directly into SharePoint. If you have an existing PDF, we can turn that into a form. If you don't, you can start off with something like a Microsoft Word document and lay it out to look like a form. We'll convert it to a PDF, then we'll open up an Adobe Acrobat to add the fields to it. Once your document is saved as a PDF, you can open it up inside of Adobe Acrobat. Adobe Acrobat makes it really easy to drop fields onto your form. You can just drag and drop the different field types and then give a name to your field. In my example, I'm going to give the name of my field first name. To finish off your form, just copy and paste in a couple of hidden fields and a submit button that tell your form to post to your formatter account. Next, I filled out the form and I'll submit it from a web browser, which promptly brings me a thank you page. To get data downloaded securely into your instance of SharePoint, you use the FormRatter client tool. This client tool is pointed at your instance of SharePoint. It can be run manually, like I'm doing now, or it can be set to run automatically. I've just run the client tool and it just found one response to my Acrobat event form. Let's go take a look and see the form that is just written up into my SharePoint instance. I've just logged into my SharePoint instance. I'm going to go over to my lists. You can see that FormRatter automatically created a list for my Acrobat event. If I click on the list, you can see that it brought in the first record and automatically created all of the column headers from my form. If I were to click and drill down into my record, you can see there's also an attachment, and that attachment is the original PDF form that was filled out and submitted. So there you have it. We built a PDF form, we pointed the form to a form writer account, and we collected the responses into SharePoint. When the responses came into SharePoint, we split out all the fields from the form and even got a copy of the entire form into SharePoint. One other thing I'd like to mention is security. At FormRouter, we take security very seriously. When forms are submitted to FormRouter, they're submitted with 256-bit encryption. That data stays encrypted until the data is downloaded by the client tool and written directly into your SharePoint instance. We are not a database that hosts online data. We are a router of data that gets the data from point A to point B into your SharePoint instance with a high level of security. Please contact FormRouter to talk to a form expert if you have questions. Take care.